I have the KF plane, KF 700, J20 jet. It is sub 250 gram. It is dual brushless. It has high rate. It has low rate. It has a stunt button, and it has a vertical mode as well as a horizontal mode. This is going to be the maiden flight. Let's go ahead and bind up to it. Okay, so I turned on the, I powered on the plane, then powered on the transmitter, and then you have to move the stick all the way up, the throttle stick all the way up and all the way back down to bind it up. All right, I think I'm going to sidearm it on launch and see how that works out. <laughs> I have no, no, no idea. Okay, so I've got it in low rate to begin with. So let's go ahead and launch it. Oh, that worked out. Okay, so this is in low rate. Not a bad turn radius for fully stabilized mode and low rate. Seems to go around with a little bit of a nose high attitude. I think when you're, I think when you're, whoa, almost sold it there. I think when you're um, soft on the throttle, you know, low speed, I think it raises the nose a little bit higher than when you're going fast speed. So let's see here. Yeah, seems to. So I think they've got some elevator mix in with the throttle there at low speed. So you could see as soon as I let off, as soon as I let off of the throttle, it raised its nose up. All right, so the, the way the trims work on this, if you need to trim it, you, you get your stick set where you need it. And then you hold in the rate button, and that's supposed to apply trim. Okay, so now we're in high rate. Get a tighter turn radius. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's come through here and hit our stunt button and see. Whoa, that is a that is a that is a fast roll. Did you see that? Okay, let's try this again the other the other direction. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do a loop with it. Holy cow. Whoa, whoa, stop flipping. <laughs> it hit it twice. I'm going to gain a little more altitude. There we go. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> it, stood, it stood on its tail there. Very interesting. <laughs> All right, let's do another roll. That is a fast, fast roll. It doesn't waste any time. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. It's probably getting hard to see now. It doesn't waste any time. It doesn't waste any time doing its rolls, that's for sure. All right, let's try a loop again. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it did that twice. I had the stick centered after I, after I pulled back on it to do a loop. Whoa! Did you see that? I am doing a loop again. Oh my! 
That is strange. You want to make sure that you have some altitude when you do your loops. That's just weird. It completes the loop and then when it gets to the bottom of the loop it wants to stand on its tail and at that time it actually changed direction on me. Okay, so let's come back through here. I want to put it into vertical mode and see what it does. Alright, let's bring it through here and put it into vertical mode. How about that? See what it does when I decrease throttle a little bit. Oh, we can spin it with the rudder. I want to bring it back this way. It's pretty uh, sensitive. I want to bring it back this way. See if I can descend a little bit. You can't descend much because it's got... Um, I can put the throttle all the way down and it just barely descends. That is pretty cool. Let me bring it in here. Is that cool or is that cool? Okay. It's got pretty good power. Okay, I'm going to put it back into horizontal mode. Oh, well that transitioned nicely. Okay, so I'm getting a beep here. So I'm just wondering if my flight battery is getting low. I think it is. Okay, let's bring it in and see if we can land it. <laughs> that is that's pretty neat what do you guys think of that i don't know i want to come over here and and check the voltage of my battery and see if that's what's going on but I, i'm guessing that's probably what it is now it does the rolls the rolls are awesome on the stunt button and the only aerobatics you can do with it i think are um let me turn it off are um, with the stunt button you know it's it's restricted except for the stunt button so if you want to do aerobatics with it I think you have to do it with the stunt button Let's see if I can pull this battery out of here okay so let me get my battery meter here and see I'll try to hold it up where you can see it I wasn't using the stock lipo the stock lipo 700 milliamp hour. I was using a 600 milliamp hour lipo that weighs about two grams or more. Oh, well, that's still got the 3.8 volts, but it could be that it was, it could be that it has a cutoff, you know, 3.8. So, uh, I still had plenty of flight time left in it, but I was getting that beeping from the transmitter and I was getting flashing LED lights. It does have LED lights on the plane. Which is nice because it gives you a visual, you know, cue on it. But uh, the LED lights started flashing. I started getting beeping from the transmitter. I know it's not the batteries in the transmitter. It takes four AA batteries. And the ones I have in there are fresh. And I, the first time I put it in the air. But that was that's pretty cool. And this is a very inexpensive plane. I'll have links to it in the show notes. But um, it has a pretty good turn radius when you put it in high rate. The vertical mode is pretty cool, man. I mean, it's very, very stable. It does, it did do some weird things on me. You know, the rolls is completed just absolutely fine. Um, it does look like the elevators are tied to the throttle. So the slower you are, the higher it raises its nose. And it did raise it, its nose to the point 
when I got too slow that it was starting a stall. So you need to keep the speed up on it a little bit, it looks like to me. Now, when I brought it in for a landing, I was coming in very, very slowly, and you could see that the nose was coming up the slower I got. So, but don't get too slow, because it will, it will stall on you. Those uh, two brushless motors give it plenty of thrust. Um, it's, not, it's not a speed plane, but for its size, it's moving through the air pretty, pretty well. The, the strangest thing that I saw was when I was doing roll, uh, not rolls, but doing loops. It would complete the loop just fine, but when it got to the bottom of the loop, it wanted to stand up on its tail instead of continuing horizontally. And I had uh, nearly full throttle, I think, when I, was, when I was performing the loops with it. So make sure that when you perform your loops, you've got some altitude. The rolls, it completes those so fast. I mean, it, I don't even think it lost any altitude. It completes the rolls so fast. And the rolls look nice and tight in axle. So that, that's a pretty cool little plane. You know, it's very, very different. That's a wrap on this episode. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the air.